Here's one that we actually ship. It's the sample 183 and I've never made a video. So here we go. I've just solved this using Shell XT and sometimes it's worthwhile just giving it a little refine, just hit refine, trickle things about a bit and have a look. So what's happening here is a bit of a mess. If I grow this, we can see, oh, that's too much. That is QPX so on me to switch the QPX off, control uh, Q a couple of times and grow. Right, so what we have is probably a naphthalene sort of thing here. And what we need to do to model this is we just graphically delete the bits we don't like and that we don't want to include. So basically I'm I'm sort of choosing things that make six membered rings. But see what I'm doing here is so that there's a six membered ring here and another one over here. They don't have to be pretty, but they're sort of here at the moment. Now what we do next is shift and the left mouse and we select all of this and we go part minus one and the trick is minus C. So this is the important one. And if you now go fuse then this has tidied this up quite nicely. And if I double click on this, well, a couple of them are darker than the others. So this means that there is an overlay and Olex didn't remove the ones it should have done. So we go fuse and do 0 0.1. So now this double should have uh, disappeared. Okay, now we are starting to see what's going on. Now this isn't going to refine very well, so we need to put a constraint on it and we're going to use the affix constraint. I'm starting at the alpha carbon here and I'm going round in a figure of eight. And oops, click on that, click on that. And it's the affix 116. So this puts this naphthalene constraint in and what we do is just hit control um, Ah, for refine, that looks pretty good, except I think we haven't really put the part minus one in properly. There's a new thing I've got here, which will be shipped out at some point. Uh, I call it currently part views, I just type PV, and it, sees, it shows you the things that are in part minus one, and we obviously have missed some here. So what we do, we select the whole thing and go part minus one and then also 0 0.5 make them half occupied and issue this PV again and now we see that all of these things are in part minus one and we refine this and now it looks really good we go anisotropic on it refine here and uh, that looks not bad we H add the hydrogens on here and this makes the PV view, uh, view gone again. So P double PV um, and let's go back to this view. Now we need to also split these ones. So we um, split them. And this one isn't going to go in the right place, but these ones we can delete. And these ones also go into part minus one and 10.5. Uh, refine that just to switch this PV on again. Every time the Atom list changes in any way, this sort of view goes lost again. So here we go. Um, so we've got the part minus one showing now. We make everything anisotropic, refine this, and this looks not too bad. So probably we want to do a... Um, well, let's have a look. Uh, goodness of fit is still quite high, so we haven't adjusted the weighting scheme. Let's do that first. And it's shifting things about a bit, and probably we want to regu on the whole thing. So we go cell part minus one, and don't select the hydrogens, and go regu, just a standard regu on this, uh, refine this. Yep, that looks pretty good, control H. And if we grow this now, we can see the whole molecule and this is how this has been modeled here and I think this is quite an easy way to do it and I would like some feedback on this uh, part view, the PV, we also got this for parts one and part two and so on. If you've got any ideas let us know and thanks for using Audix too.